I'm Steven and this is your Daily Energy Report. First Wind Optimistic expects to expand thanks to PTC extension. The late announcement of the PTC extension has already caused a significant decline in 2013 for the wind sector. However, one wind developer has high hopes for 2013. First Wind, which already operates 980 megawatts of wind projects in six states, says it expects to add up to 50% to its portfolio in 2013 thanks to the PTC extension. The company is optimistic because some of their projects are already in its advanced stages and PTC's eventual extension provided enough certainty for the company to move forward with those near-ready projects to final permitting and design stages. Greece approves second renewable energy tax hike in five months. Greece has approved higher renewable power taxes for consumers, backing a second increase in five months to boost funds at market operator Lag ESA. The levy will recompense Laggy for guaranteeing fixed power prices to clean energy producers. Customers will now pay 9.53 euros a megawatt hour under the tax changes, up from the 8.74 euro charge applied on August 1st. The difference between the feed-in tariffs and prices charged to customers has resulted in a deficit of about 280 million euros. The energy ministry is aiming to erase that gap by the end of 2014. Grid delays cause risks to Scotland's offshore renewable projects. Scotland's proposed offshore tidal, wave, and wind power plants face risks from delays in building links to transfer energy between the nation's islands and the mainland, according to renewable energy developers. More than two-thirds of wave and tidal energy developments are dependent on the new links to deliver electricity from Orkney, Shetland, and the Western Isles to the Scottish mainland. Scottish Hydroelectric Transmission said that the links to the Orkney and Shetland Islands won't come into fruition until 2018 because of challenges including planning approval, land acquisition, and delivery of subsea cables. Saudi Arabia moves to expand solar development, invests in utility ACWA power. Saudi Arabian sovereign wealth fund Sanibel and the nation's pension agency acquired 19% of ACWA Power International, a company that invests in power and water projects in the region. Riyadh-based ACWA issued 89.5 million new shares to Sanibel and the Saudi Pension Public Agency, each of which will have a seat on ACWA's board of directors. The transaction will give Sanibel and the pension agency stakes of 13.7% and 5.7% respectively. Founded in 2008, ACWA has a power generation capacity of 13 thousand megawatts and produces 2.37 million cubic meters a day of desalinated water. It operates five power plants in Saudi Arabia and was qualified to tender for projects in countries including Kuwait, Egypt, and Turkey. For more on energy news and analysis, visit dailyenergyreport.com.